Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features coming to the Apple Watch in watchOS 10 this fall. First we have Smart Stack. Now this is one of the biggest new features in Watch OS 10 and it pretty much brings widgets to the Apple Watch. And if you simply just turn the digital crown, you can reveal all the widgets that are enabled right now. So I actually have it customized to a certain amount of widgets, but you can actually customize it to having a little bit more. And it is pretty dynamic. So if you're listening to music, your music now playing will be actually on the top. So it's pretty dynamic and it just gives you a lot of information at a glance. And you can just simply turn the digital crown to reveal all this information. Now with Apple introducing Smart Stack to the Apple Watch, you can no longer swipe up to get to the control center so the only way to get into the control center is by clicking the side button and that's the only way you can access the control center and within the control center there's not many differences um, there's a slight user interface change so it does give you like a dark opaque background so it's not completely black anymore um, and I feel like the icons got a little bit bigger but I'm not too sure about that but there's not much of a difference the only difference here is that to, in order to access the control center you have to click the side button with watchOS 10, Apple has completely redesigned the app library, so we no longer have that honeycomb grid no more. We actually have this vertical grid, so once you click on the digital crown, you can get into your app library and you can just scroll using the digital crown to see all your applications in one spot. And you can just simply see all the apps by just scrolling. Also, if you're on your watch face and you scroll down to the smart stack and you get past the smart stack, you can continue scrolling on the digital crown and it'll take you to all of your applications. It's pretty easy to use and it's a welcome change in watchOS. Like with many of the watch OS updates, we always get new watch faces and in this one we actually have two new watch faces. We first have the Snoopy watch face, so you can see right here it's a pretty simple, it's kind of like the Mickey Mouse one, uh, but it gives us Snoopy animations and it changes every time you look at the watch, so you can see there's different different animations available for it. We also have a palette one, so this one is going to be like a more colorful full screen one, which looks really nice, you can customize it to any color as well. I personally prefer the Snoopy one because it just looks really cool and it looks like a really nice nice playful watch face. In watchOS 10, Apple has finally redesigned most of its applications user interface for the Apple Watch and it finally feels like these apps were made for the watch. Um, if I go into the fitness app, you can see you can just use the digital crown to scroll through everything and everything just fills the entire display um, and there's more color on screen now before they used to be like a black background but now it shows more color and showing the entire display of the watch. Um, if I go into the HomeKit application, you can see everything is also redesigned here. The buttons are a lot bigger. Um, if you go into the music now play, you can actually see the album art artwork playing now and has a nice blurred background and the weather app just looks a lot cleaner now and a lot more usable and I've realized with the all these user interface updates I've been using the digital crown a lot more and I actually prefer using the digital crown I've been using the touch screen most of the time in watch OS 9 and the previous versions but with this update everything seems like it's a lot easier when you use the digital crown because you can just scroll through everything and see a ton of info compared to how it was before and finally, Apple's introducing a new health feature into watchOS 10 called Vision Health, and it pretty much uses the ambient light sensors in the Apple Watch to measure how much daylight you're getting every day. Um, you can actually see all this information on your iPhone as well, so under health, mental well-being, and going into time and daylight, it actually tells you how much time you spent in daylight, and this is apparently to help reduce the risk of myopia and nearsightedness, and it can also encourage children to spend more time outside. Um, so it's pretty much kind of like the feature on iOS 17, like screen distance to see how close you you are to your phone but this is pretty much on the apple watch it just tracks the daylight the amount of time you're spending outside and there you have it those are some of my favorite new features in watch os 10 watch os 10 is coming to look like a very solid update for the apple watch and it's going to be coming out in fall if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace